Hi again, I'm doing another reaction video, this to a bit of gameplay from Hell Let Loose, and it's the Sainte Marie du Mont map. So, advance warning, I know this area like the back of my hand. I live just down the road from Sainte Marie du Mont. I have walked, toured, driven, crawled, been drunk in these areas many times over the last 20 years, so I know this area really well. But I've had a quick look. It looks absolutely amazing, so I am confident this is going to be very, very good. Feels really good. Now, if we're inland, there's no Tobruk bunkers like that inland. The radar station is obviously a bit of extra gameplay. There's no radar station anywhere near this area. It would have been blown out of the sky two or three days before D-Day by typhoons or otherwise aircraft of the RAF, probably the RAF, possibly Ninth Air Force. I did a show on World War II TV all about typhoons coming and taking out German radar like this, so it wasn't functioning on D-Day. But I'm happy with this in terms of adding gameplay. Now, that bunker looks exactly like the personnel-type bunkers you get in Normandy. The texture looks good. The detailing is good. The triangular wall there is good. You do sometimes see graffiti like that on them, although that eagle was a bit spectacular. There's obviously no gameplay in this because someone has kindly created this video just for me to react to, which is rather nice of them. Trench systems, you get this kind of trench system at places like Crisbeck and Asville, which are a bit further north than where we are in San Marie de Mont. But as we look around the countryside there, it is feeling Normandy to me. The hedgerows look good. Yeah, radar station is false, but the texture of the mud there in the lane, the hedgerow detailing, I'm feeling like I'm in Normandy. Well, I am in Normandy, literally in Normandy, but I feel like I'm in Normandy watching this. I love how these games recreate the changing sunlight as you rotate around. But I can tell you, this is just like roads coming in off Utah Beach. Absolutely bang on perfect. Oh, uh, crashed horse glider there. Now, if we're near San Marie de Mont, it would be, well, no, yeah, there are crashed horse gliders. I would say it should be a Waco, really, but there are crashed horse gliders on the other side of San Marie de Mont. So I'll take that back. That's fine. No logs, though. There's no logging anywhere near San Marie de Mont. You would have possibly felled trees that are uh, chopped up for firewood. Belgian Gate, too far inland. Um, that's not really the case. Knocked out half track there. I think that's a half track. Okay, so there's no vehicles of that type knocked out near Utah Beach at all. The closest kind of armoured vehicles are going to be in the San Comme de Mont, Carenton area, and it's going to be Marders and then Stugs, but that's later on June the 13th, so that's a bit inaccurate. Yeah, we've commented on the radar station. Nothing like that in this map in reality, but sure. If you are creating a radar station, that looks like what a radar station normally would look like. I think we're driving north through the Grand Chemin now, which the roads are good. Yep. Well, maybe parallel. I'm just, I did, the map came up fleetingly there, but color of the buildings is good. Stonework is good. Farms look okay. That's the correct kind of um, torsion type of construction there for Normandy. Uh, is that a German stores? Is that a parachute there in the field? He's going to go have a look for me, I guess. Oh, it's a camouflage gun. Okay, a little bit kind of a fantasy position there, but there was a depot of ammunition storage in this rough area for Sam Marie de Mont. Of course, Breckel Manor is around here, which was made famous in Band of Brothers. But as we know, there's not much support structure there. It's literally just four guns pushed into a hedgerow. There's no um, concrete structures there's no tented encampment there's nothing like that that would identify it as being a german position that's why in fact so many of the inland ones hadn't been picked up by aerial photography because don't forget this whole area has been photographed a million times before d-day maybe not a million so we know what is where so we know the big heavily fortified gun batteries like Crisbeck and asville but one of the problems that allies faced was these just gun batteries hidden in hedgerows where there's no paraphernalia another half trap knocked out over there which okay inauthentic now it looks like we're turning down one of the roads towards the beach now uh crops in the field there stone walls okay good so far i like the detailing of the vehicle that's really quite good with the plates there the you know the gear plate plates and the manufacturer 
plates and what have you. This is a, he's in a deuce and a half, isn't he? Yeah. Well, it's even got the speed you're going at. I had no idea the games had this kind of detail. Oh, and the correct um, hand-operated windshield wipers. They don't have a motors generally in 1944. Now this, summer in Normandy, yeah, the mud on the lanes like this, even the summer, that's fine. This looks like I've walked through so many Normandy farmyards that look exactly like this. Um, the truck camouflage like that with sandbags, that's a bit of an odd thing. Why is why have they done that? That's an, anti that's an 88 anti-aircraft searchlight buildings that have been hit by the bomb damage. That's something that I think is a good detail. You know, that we mustn't forget the area in land for beaches was heavily bombarded on D-Day. So as you push two or three miles inland, you do see buildings with holes in and you know damage the roofs and what have you. Oh, that 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 looks like a photo. I could literally go out tomorrow in my van and replicate pretty much that exact view driving down some of these lanes. This is so well done. I'm really loving the detail. Someone said in a video I did earlier that the detailing in Hell Let Loose is really good, but the gamers find the gameplay in other in other games better. People keep telling me, you're obviously not a gamer. I, I'm not saying I am a gamer. I am purely looking at these from the point of view of how does it look in terms of authenticity and history and reacting on what I see. I couldn't care less whether or not the gameplay works because I don't play them. Now the fields are just like this, that kind of scrubby grass. I think we're approaching. Oh, we're going back towards Sam Marie de Mon now. So we're, we're, I know where we are. Uh, I, I know I can tell that there's a certain replication of the same types of um, buildings from farm to farm. So exactly the same type of kind of grain silo or barn. But I understand with the game mechanics, you can't have thousands and thousands of individual buildings. They have to be kind of modeled to one type and then repeat them around. So I have no problem with that. In essence, it all feels really good. Burning, burning vehicle, I think, that. But, God, this this it's like video. I could, oh, we're approaching Sam Marie de Mont. And the fact I can tell that Sam Marie de Mont church, even at this distance, is because I can tell already that has been modeled incredibly well. That this is the drive into Sam Marie de Mont. I know this street really well. I can pretty much recognize individual buildings here. This is astonishingly good. So we're coming in there. There's the square there. So there's the, that, that archway is absolutely bang on. This has been modeled completely on what you can see on Google Earth. I know exactly where I am. That is as good a replica of Sam Riedemont Church as you could ever hope to see. This is superb, stunning detail. Thank you so much for sending me this video. So we should see over there, the First World War War Monument, which they've replaced it with a fountain here. Okay, so this here would be a First World War Monument. But hey, it's maybe a bit wider. It's, oh, good, that's so good. That is that is the church at San Marie de Mont. It's a bit wider. I'm feeling the road is a bit wider. The grass is a bit deeper than it actually would have been. San Marie de Mont is really quite a compact area. I've been in that church many times. The confessional boxes should, there's no confessional boxes just inside the door there. It's, but hey, that is, <laughs> that is San Marie de Mont Church, more or less. Now, I wish the access to the church tower was this easy. Honestly, going up to the church town, San Marie de Mont, which you can do if you kind of book in with the mayor or what have you, it's, you feel like you're Indiana Jones. If it was this easy, because he did it in about 30 seconds. Honestly, to go up ladders and you go through things with your hands full of pigeon shit and stuff, but you can actually, at the top of that church tower, come out on like a balcony bit and see out there, which is famously where 40 years after the war, uh, Colonel von der Height of 6th Falsh Omega Regiment and Dick Winters were up there discussing how the battle had unfolded around San Marie de Mors. So there's, there's, in reality, there's a little parapet bit you can stand on that, I don't know whether it's in the game, but it just seemed we could look out the windows. But, yeah, I know exactly where I am. Stuart Tank, correct markings for Utah Beach. I noticed that on the other video about Utah from Hell Let Loose. Um, yeah, this is – I mean, there's little kind of 
railing, shutter, details. Some of the buildings are further forward or backwards than they would have been. But the fact that I recognize exactly where I am, kudos to the game makers for doing this. Because it's just really, really, really good. Really, really good. There's a actually museum. That building there we're looking at now is is a museum. Inside there is a mural on the wall painted by German soldiers during the occupation. And then behind the archway now is a is a retirement home. So over to our right, in reality, two or three fields over towards um, Brucheville is in fact the field where the first member of 30 AU got killed on June the 8th, or was it the 9th? I did a show about 30 AU recently. He, uh, two, two British members of 30 AU were killed by uh, butterfly bombs dropped from German aircraft in the field. So, yeah, I am absolutely loving this. Okay, I can't comment on the gameplay because this is I'm, – I'm looking at the map. This is what I was sent so I can review the location, which is what I asked for. And, um, yeah, wow. My only frame of reference is I did see – because it used to be on the Spain Museum here, the original Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30 game, which must be 15, 20 years old now. Colonel John Antar was involved in that, and they came and they videoed in places like Saint-Germain de Varreville, Saint-Martin de Varreville, Les Mezières, the actual buildings there. So when you play as a sergeant, you are replicating the action of Sergeant Harrison Summers of B Company 501st Parachute Infantry Regiment as he attacked a position we now know as, know as XYZ. Or XYZ as I'm English, and I would take people there on tours years ago, and teenage boys would recognize where they are by just seeing the buildings they had run through in this video game. But that was 20 years ago, game mechanics and visuals, but it was very well done. It seems to me in some ways the game makers, what was the one I watched post-scriptum, they've kind of gone backwards and not try to recreate the exact details of the location where with Brothers in Arms, they were doing it 20 years ago. So for my point of view, with all the information we have now, get the settings okay. So that's an 88, isn't it, again? So that seems to be one of my criticisms. Is It's, it's always the flak 88 when, of course, a lot of the anti-aircraft guns were, and in fact, one of the biggest anti-aircraft uh, weapons that was dangerous on D-Day were 20 millimeter. There are 88s. Often, the anti-aircraft guns in Normandy kind of were down that spine. So you see the, the going up towards Cherbourg, down the middle bit, so they can get aircraft flying either way over the Koten Tan Peninsula. But a lot of the aircraft were actually under fire from the little, the smaller sort of 20 millimeter flak type automatic weapons rather than the big 88s. But I guess, again, they have the certain vehicles and weapons modeled and they repeat them in the game. But it's not incorrect to have an 88 there. I, I'm just being what I do, which is telling people some details. But astonishingly good. I think. Some of the telegraph poles along these roads would have been the stone, or sorry, cast concrete telegraph poles rather than wood, but that's a minor detail. So where are we exactly? So we're just, oh, we're going over towards Holdy now, what is now called Hold, Holdy. So on June the 7th and 8th towards Turkerville, this area was still contested. So they've taken a real map. And they've added like that radar station. They've added a couple of extra German positions with more kind of sandbagging and trenches and things where German positions were more kind of in, in hedgerows. But yeah, fantastic stuff. So thank you very much for sending me that because that was absolutely awesome. It was like an actual drive around that area. So if you are a gamer and you can create me one of these 15 minute type videos of a walk around or some gameplay or a look at the maps and show me bunkers show me designs i'll i'll review it for you for us for the world a bit overstating my importance in the world there but i've really enjoyed doing this so um thanks for watching cheers everybody bye